Hi friends, welcome to PlanScienceWarrior.com. Today the topic of our discussion is stellar types and its evolution in pteridophytes. First of all, start with the definition. And this is the section of the stem Lycopodium like cernum. You can see right here, this is the hypodermis that is clinogamatous that is followed by the cortical region. And this is the central region constitute the steel. Steel is defined as a central vascular cylinder with or without pith that is limited by endodermis. The vasculature consists of xylem and phloem. You can see a xylem right here that is embedded in the phloem and this is limited by this endodermal layer. These are the different types of steels in pteridophytes and we will be discussing in detail. First of all, the protosteel that is present in Lycopodium. There are different types of protosteel that differs in arrangement of xylem and phloem. Haplosteel, acnosteel, plectosteel, mixed protosteel and polysteel. The second type of steel is a siphonosteel that is present in mycelia rhizome. And there also it can be simple siphonosteel or solenosteel. Then the third type is the dictyosteel that is present in teres rhizome. It can be simple dictyosteel or polycyclic dictyosteel. And the final one is a eustyl that is present in ecusetum where the vascular bundles are arranged just like higher plants as in dicots and monocots. And we will be discussing in detail all the steel types. In the, in, this, in the following sides, slides. First of all, start with the protosteel. Protosteel consists of a central core of xylem that is completely surrounded by phloem. And this is the most primitive type of steels. You can see right here. And this is the xylem, central core of xylem that is surrounded by phloem. And this type of steel is present in Selaginella. This is the second type of protosteel that is the, here the xylem is the central core. Uh, this is called as acnosteel and the xylem is star shaped that is surrounded by phloem. There is a central core of xylem with radiating ends or it is star shaped that is surrounded by phloem. And this is more advanced than haplosteel and is present in xylotum stem especially lower regions. There is slight difference in the upper regions of xylotum stem. This is another steel which is called as plectosteel. Here you can see that this there are many xylem plates that are parallelly arranged and these plates are surrounded by phloem. And this is a more advanced than acnosteel. And this is present in Lycopodium clavatum and many other species. And this is a fourth type of steel. Here you can see that the xylem and phloem are seen as small strips. Xylem is very much fragmented and is embedded in the phloem tissue. And this is called as the mixed protosteel. Here the xylem and phloem are uniformly distributed and this is much more advanced than plectosteel and is considered as a trans tri transitional type between true protosteel and siphonosteel. And this is present in Lycopodium serenum. And this is a polysteelic condition that is present in Selaginella. Within the stem, we could see more than one stellar system. That is, it may be disteelic or monosteelic or even polysteelic condition is present. You can see there are two stellar regions. And the steel right here at the center is a protosteel, that is central xylem that is surrounded by phloem. Now the second major type of steel that is a siphonosteel. In the case of siphonosteel, you can see right here, siphonosteel is just like a protosteel but with a central pit that may be sclerenchymatous or parenchymatous. Or it is simply a metallated protosteel. There, are, there can be two types of siphonosteel. It can be ectophloic siphonosteel where this is a xylem. On the outer side, phloem is present, then it is called as ectophloic siphonosteel. In the case of that, the, there is a second type of steel. In the figure, this is amphiphloic siphonosteel. Amphi means on both sides. Here, this is a xylem ring. On both sides, phloem is present. And this is called as amphiphloic siphonosteel that is present in Marsilia rhizome. And this is shown in this figure. A siphonosteel, it is just like a siphonosteel with a leaf cap at one point and it like the, like, like the siphonosteel, it can be ectophloic or amphiphloic. Amphiphloic solenosteel that is present in Andiandum and Marsilia rhizome at leaf arising regions, whereas ectophloic solenosteel that is present in Osmunda. Here also the thing is the same in amphiphloic. This xylem is surrounded by, on both sides by phloem. And the third type of steel is the dictyosteel. In dictyosteel, the steel is further, the vasculature is further broken up into small fragments which each one is called as meristeel. This is called as a meristeel. Meristeel is a protosteel. There is a central xylem that is surrounded by phloem. 
It is a siphon of steel with overlapping leaf caps. The portion of vasculature which lies in between two caps, each one is called as a meristeel. Meristeel is protostelic and this is seen in higher ferns. It can be a simple dictyostyl, a dictyostyl that is arranged in a single ring or can be a polycyclic dictyostyl where different meristeels are arranged in different concentric rings that is present in terrace rhizome. And this is the figure. You can see right here there are different rings and each one is called as a meristeel. And this is protostelic in nature. And the final one is the eustele. In eustele, you can see this vasculature, vascular bundle, the, the arrangement is just like vascular bundles of dicots and monocots and arranged as concentric rings and this vasculature, vascular bundle is conjoined, collateral and closed and this type of arrangement that is just like higher plants is called as a eustelic arrangement and this type of arrangement is seen in ecusitum stem and we have discussed all the steel types in pteridophytes in detail hope things are clear you are with PlantScienceForYou.com. Thank you so much for watching.